to Shepherd School and what we're going to do today is that we're going to make a do-it-yourself vacuum former so that we can uh, uh, mold thermoplastics, okay? Um, interesting way, I guess, to do Kydex um, without having to use a Kydex press, but it's for a lot of other stuff, making, you know, molds or whatever. So, I've got a piece of um, old pegboard and I've got about $17 worth of new wood which is basically three of these pieces of hobby board. Uh, one's going to make the former. The other two are going to make um, frames to hold the plastic. And then I have a two by three board, okay? And we're just going to use some uh, scrap and such to make this, all right? So well, basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut this board and we're going to make a frame. Okay, so I cut the eight inch board into four pieces. Two of them are 24 inches long because that's the length of the board. Two of them are 21 inches long to take into account the width of the other boards to make a 24 inch square. Okay now what I'm going to do is find the center of this board. So that would be 10 and a half inches. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hole saw and cut through For those of you that are woodworkers, you probably hit wood kicking yourself that I used a hole saw to drill through that uh, because that's not the proper tool but that's what I had I do not have a uh, you know any kind of boring bit you know I've got this auger but it's not big enough and it has to be this size because I've got this um, tube from my shop vac that has to fit in it okay And what I ended up having to do was drill through, okay, then drill through the other end, and then I had to take my chisel and chisel out and then go through it one more time, okay? And it didn't meet exactly, but it is pretty close. I mean, it's within, you know, half a millimeter or so. But, uh, all right, so now that's done. Now what I have to do is make my frame, and I'm going to glue, and I'm going to screw everything together because this needs to be as airtight as possible to direct all the air through the holes in the uh, piece of uh, pegboard. All right, here's the frame. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the base, all right? Okay, we've glued this down and now we're just putting some screws in the corner to attach the base. I burned my thumb pretty good on a different project, so I'm having a hard time holding these darn screws in. Alright, now I'm going to silicone up. It's time 
to put the top on. Just like before, we're going to put one in the four corners. Centered up from there. All right, so here it is, my uh, DIY vacuum former, and the way it basically works is, I take the uh, side with the hole in it, I shove this in there, attach it to my shop vac, take a frame that's got a thermoplastic in it, put it in the oven, okay? Get it to where it's floppy and, and ready to be molded, okay? Then I take whatever I want to form, and it's basically the same idea as regular casting, except for upside down. I want something that uh, doesn't have any overhanging parts to get caught, um, you know, something like, say this candle, right? If I were to stick the candle like that, it would form and suck around it where I couldn't get the candle out because it'd get caught on this, uh, this edge. But if I did it upside down like this, because it's a nice transition, you know, because it's a nice transition, when you take the floppy plastic, lay it on the frame over the top of it, it will tint up. Okay? Then I hit the shop vac, suck all the air out. The air is going to have a vacuum in these holes and it's going to suck the plastic, you know, down around it for them fitting. Okay? Then I let it cool, take the frame off, take my mold out, and then uh, just cut it out. All right? And it makes really good molds like this beeswax mold, right? You put the ingot on there, put the plastic on there, and it sucks it down just like that, okay? And so um, I'm running out of daylight here, running out of weekend. The wife's home from my mother, so I'm going to uh, put this up for the day, go up and play with my baby and uh, the kid. Uh, and then next week what we'll do is we'll make the actual frames and try to mold something, okay? So I appreciate you watching. And until next time, you can always catch us online, www.tngun.com.